Well, it's interesting. It's not on the front page of any of the papers today, but it is leading the story in Westminster. And this is the scandal that is emerging around Gavin Williamson, Cabinet Minister without portfolio, uh, who, it has been revealed, sent some texts to the former chief whip, Wendy Morton, that have been described as bullying. It's detailed in an investigation in the Sunday Times, where uh, some of the texts are really quite nasty. And what this is all referring to is invitations to the Queen's funeral. Mr Williamson seemed to be under the assumption that he was excluded as a Privy Council member from the funeral for political reasons. And he had a real go at the then Chief sure. Whip. I mean, quite, in a quite a threatening way. I take your point about the language, which mm. was just inelegant and rude, but there's an air of threat about it as well. Absolutely. One of the uh, texts he sent said, uh, well, let's see how many more times you F us over. Mm. There is a price for everything. Now, of course, Gavin Williamson himself is a former chief whip, known for keeping a tarantula called Kronos <laughs> on his desk when he was there. Uh, and it, clearly, some of that threatening language has not been seen to be appropriate. But interestingly, Rishi Sunak is standing by Gavin Williamson this morning. The story has moved on in, in the sense that we now have uh, the words from the government that the Prime Minister has confidence in Gavin Williamson. Now, opposition... MPs are making the point that perhaps the Prime Minister's judgment is impaired. Yeah. We learn that he was aware that there was a complaint brought against Gavin Williamson before appointing sure. Gavin Williamson. And unlike the Sunday Times brilliant story about hacking mm. internationally and globally, this is clearly a leak. I mean, these are these are people who don't like Gavin, who are, are, are feeding the, mm. from WhatsApp or wherever or indeed to the press. Or indeed people who don't like Rishi. In fact, there yeah. are some yeah, yeah. former cabinet ministers who have been making less than subtle sure. comments this morning, particularly Brandon Lewis, the former Northern Iron Secretary. He's been tweeting this morning about anti-bullying. Uh, not immediately obviously no, no, connected no. to this, but uh, some people have raised eyebrows as to what possibly could he... Nothing be quite as dangerous as a sacked man. Um, I'm delighted to see that on, on, you've also selected there the piece um, you know, there are ways of criticising Prime Ministers and indeed Chance of the Exchequer that are more subtle and mm. Duncan Smith plays a blinder he does. by taking to his typewriter, doing a deal with the Sun newspaper and writing a piece with which I have to say is clear from the programme so far I'm in big agreement. Yes, this is a piece by Ian Duncan Smith in The Sun on Sunday asking the question, do we really need these big tax rises, Mr Chancellor? Making the point that the United Kingdom is looking like it's going into its longest recession on record, a two-year-long drop in economic activity that will not recover until after the next election. And the question is, will raising taxes on businesses and on consumers prolong or curtail that recession. Oh, you 